gosh, today is a beautiful day. It is gorgeous outside. The weather is perfect. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Look how blue that sky is. And the trees. Everything's so pretty. I think this is a great day to make a picnic for Yvonne. Welcome to Happy Cooking with Yvonne Douglas. I'm Doug and today is the perfect day to go out on a picnic. And I have my picnic basket here. We're gonna talk about some of the things that you may need to include in your picnic basket. And we're gonna make some delicious sandwiches and some other yummy things. And I think Yvonne is going to love it. He's been working really, really hard lately. And so I thought this would be a great day once he comes home from work and um, have a nice little picnic outside, so stay tuned. Okay, so welcome back to Happy Cooking with Yvonne Douglas. So we're gonna make some delicious sandwiches. Now I got some bread here. These are some hoagie rolls. This one is just a regular one, and then this one is a wheat one for Yvonne, because Yvonne likes to eat wheat bread. And we're also going to include in this sandwich some uh, black forest ham, some Italian salami, some peppered salami, arugula, baby arugula, uh, red onions, fresh mozzarella cheese. It's gonna be super, super yummy. Plus, we're gonna get these tomatoes. And I'm gonna cook these up in some uh, extra virgin olive oil and um, garlic. And add a little Italian parsley to that. We're gonna add that to the sandwich too. It's gonna taste really yummy. Plus, my dressing that's gonna go on this sandwich is going to be a combination of, this is garlic, Oli mayo, real mayonnaise, avocado oil. This is really, really delicious, just the way it is, but I'm gonna actually mix it with some um, Italian dressing. And both of these are really low in uh, sugar and carbohydrates. So that's going to be really good for us, especially I'm trying to lose some weight. So um, these two, this one too is really low. This has um, only, uh, where is it? It has zero sugars and zero carbs. So yeah, this one is keto friendly and all these other things. So definitely check that out. It's really good, like I said, by itself. And um, we're gonna have some little snacks like grapes and some skinny popcorn I'm gonna put in there. So let's get cooking. Okay, so first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna heat up my pan and bring it on a low flame. I got some extra virgin olive oil. You just need probably about a tablespoon just to cover the bottom. And we're gonna actually add some minced garlic. You can buy uh, garlic cloves and mince them yourself or you could buy it in the jar. I just have the one in the jar, so that's what I'm gonna use now. And I'm gonna use probably around a little more than a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. I'm going to cook that in my oil. You want to make sure that you lower the flame. You're just going to brown up your garlic just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to add our tomato slices. Now these tomato slices have been cut around a fourth of an inch thick. So we definitely want them to keep their shape. We don't want this to get um, smushy. So I'm not going to cook them that long. I am going to flip them, cook them a little bit on both sides, and then we're gonna add some uh, Italian uh, parsley to it. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and pepper. This is freshly ground black pepper and a little salt. And look how good that looks. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Yum. That looks so yummy. And with my tongs, I'm just going to flip them over. So you're actually just cooking them for maybe two minutes on each side. 
don't want to cook them that long. Italian parsley here. I'm just going to chop that up real small. All right. I'm just going to get some, sprinkle it in a little bit. Look at those colors. Wow. That looks great. Can you see that? How awesome is that? All right. They're about done. Okay, so let me show you how easy it is to make this dressing. So I'm using Good and Gather Organic Italian Dressing. Make sure you shake it up really well. And I'll have a pitcher for you. And you're gonna add two, for these two sandwiches, probably about two tablespoons of the Italian dressing. And you're going to need one nice large cooking tablespoon of the um, garlic aioli. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm saying that aioli. Uh, mayo, real mayonnaise, avocado oil. And so we're going to get a whisk and we're just gonna whisk those two things up. Make it nice and smooth. Gonna make a nice dressing for our sandwich. Then I'm gonna add just a little squeeze of lemon. Okay, this is probably gonna be maybe a, ta a teaspoon of lemon. And that is it, folks. Look how easy that was. And we're gonna use this on top of our bread. Now let's start making our sandwich. Okay, so I have my bread right here. Now you want a good bread knife, make, make sure it's a serrated edge. And you're gonna cut your bread in half. And if you wanna actually um, bake this in the oven a little bit more so it's a little bit crispy, you can always do that. But I decided not to do that for today. And uh, so I'm cutting through my bread. And look, mm, it smells so good. Okay, I got a, have a brush here and I'm just going to dip it in my dressing and I wanna do both sides of the bread. Just like that, I want a nice amount. Okay, that looks good. Then this side. This dressing tastes so good. I wish you could taste it. Mmm. Hello, Simon. What are you doing? Simon's here visiting, making all these strange noises. So if you hear these strange noises, that's Simon. He likes to visit every once in a while. He smells food, of course. <laughs> Can you see him? There's Simon. Hi, Simon. Are you a good boy? Are you hungry? All right, so now let's make our sandwich. Now, I'm going to use arugula here, and I'm going to put that on first at the base. Arugula has a peppery taste to it, so I think this is going to work really well with um, everything. All right. And then I'm gonna add some red onions. Just the way they are. And then we're gonna add our first layer. We're gonna do the salami here. This is the peppered salami. I'm gonna do three on this one and three on this one. Mozzarella, mozzarella cheese, 
Mm, yum. And then we're gonna add black forest ham. Gonna be three slices. Look at that black forest ham, doesn't that look beautiful? And then I'm gonna have my Italian salami. I'm putting four. Oh, I forgot the, uh, the uh, this sandwich. This sandwich is like, I'm lonely, don't forget me. <laughs> and we're gonna add the Italian salami here. Mmm, mm, it's good. Mm. And then we're gonna add those tomatoes. Look at those tomatoes, aren't they look beautiful? And this is gonna be such a beautiful presentation. Now you do want to, we're gonna wrap this up and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator. Mm. And don't forget these tomatoes have cooled off. Mm. Oh, they're so good. So now, I'm gonna get my sandwich and smash it together. Oh my God. Look what a beautiful sandwich that is. Never go skimpy on your sandwich. Okay, now we're gonna wrap this up. Okay, so wax paper might be a little old fashioned, but I think it keeps the sandwiches really nice and fresh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get this sandwich here. This is gonna be mine. And I wanna show you, I'm going to cut this in half at an angle. Because you want it to be, um, easy to eat, all right? Wow, look at all those, mm, look at all those great colors. Can you see that? Awesome. And I'm going to wrap each individual sandwich like that. Keep that still, put this in here. Fold this way, fold this way, bring it over, nice and tight. Put that one under, awesome. And I'm sure this is gonna make a nice surprise for Yvonne when he comes home. Like I said, he's been working really hard lately, so I'm gonna try to make this a special day since it's so pretty out. That's Yvonne's. So now let's make a couple of other little things. Okay, so the next thing, I have some grapes that I've cleaned and I'm going to put these in these little plastic containers. So we're gonna have that on our picnic. Look how nice. These are really a nice uh, amount. I'll put some over here. Okay, so we got that. And then, Yvonne loves skinny popcorn. <laughs> so I got these really pretty, um, these are just cellophane bags. And I'm going to add some skinny popcorn. This is cheddar. <laughs> I just kind of fill up these bags a little bit, just like that. I got some nice jute twine. I'm just going to cut a piece. Get a nice little twist. Tie it up. Nothing too fancy. Maybe the cellophane bag is. Do a nice little tie. Just like that. And then of course, I'm gonna make myself one. <laughs> I want one too. Nice amount. Get my juice twine again. 
awesome. So we got these two little um, popcorn bags and we have some grapes. I am going to, even though we're, I'm gonna bring a bottle of wine and this picnic basket, but I'm also bringing a Diet Coke. Yvonne has to have his Diet Coke. Get down, you don't get on the camera. What are you doing? What are you doing, Simon? Mm-mm-mm. Mm, what grapes are that? Another thing too, I have these labels. Let's say I just uh, use this pen here, white pen. I put Yvonne Yvonne, Doug Doug, and I'm just gonna label the sandwiches because don't forget Yvonne had the wheat bread. So since this is going in the picnic basket, I wanna make sure that Yvonne's doesn't get mixed up and this kind of holds down the, uh, the sandwich too. That, there we go. Nice. And then put Doug on mine. Although since his already has his name, I really don't need to do mine. <laughs> but I'll do it anyway for presentation purposes for y'all. See, how cute is that? All right. So let me do this. Awesome. All right, so now we gotta just pack up our basket. So welcome back. Let's talk about what's gonna go inside our picnic basket. Now you can get a picnic basket really anywhere. I know I've seen them at Hobby Lobby. You can get them probably at Target. But this one I got off of Amazon and it's a really beautiful one. Uh, came with uh, some ceramic plates and silverware. This is not plastic. Came with nice silverware and came with a couple of wine glasses here. This small little wine glass. Now this is plastic, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> and so anyway, so we have our wine glasses in there, plus it came with a picnic blanket, which sometimes you don't find that. Um, you might have to get your own, but all this stuff is going to go inside this picnic basket. So the very first thing we want to do is I have my little salt and pepper shakers. Let me put those in there. See how they fit really nicely in those little set, uh, compartments. And then I have a little ice pack just to keep the sandwiches cool. So I'm gonna put this at the bottom. Actually, I'm gonna put, yeah. Let me put the, uh, I'm gonna put the, the picnic blanket at the bottom. And it also comes with some nice cloth napkins. And then I have my cooler here. And I'm gonna put my uh, sandwiches near my cooler. This, with the wax paper, it stays impeccably fresh. So it's, that'll be awesome. So I'm just gonna put my sandwiches there. Up. Keep everything nice and cool. And then Yvonne's Diet Coke, of course. <laughs> and then we're gonna put the bottle of wine and my little grapes. And of course, we need a wine opener. So I gotta have that in there, super important. And the popcorn, lay that on top. Awesome, so you can see everything fits nicely. And I'm just gonna scoot that over a little bit. And then we're going to just close it up. Oh, and I almost forgot, these are some extra napkins. Let me put that back in there. These are just some extra napkins just in case for any type of cleanup. So I have my nice picnic basket here ready to go outside and go on a picnic with Yvonne. So thank you so much for joining us on Happy Cooking with Yvonne Douglas today. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and like this video and leave a comment below. All right, happy cooking, bye-bye. I love it, Boo. Thank you. They're so good. Mm, you're welcome.